We're headed to the Stardust Ranch in tiny Rainbow Valley, where our researcher Dave Schrader has uncovered activity on a whole different level. It got so bad with my wife with things coming after her that she used to beg me to handcuff her to the bed because she was so frightened that she was going to get taken. We meet Dave down the road from the ranch, unsure exactly what we're dealing with. What's up, man? What in the hell are we doing way out here in the middle of nowhere, Dave? Well, everybody's familiar with the Skinwalker Ranch out of Utah. Right. You have this perfect storm of activity. UFOs, aliens, monsters, ghosts. Well, I think we found the same thing here in Arizona. This guy claims that he has encountered aliens, the greys. Ooh, no. Right. The greys. The greys are but terrifying. These are, these are a little different than the type of greys we've normally heard. These are aggressive. Both my wife and I have had some major medical problems as a result of this. We have scars all over us. As we make our way to the Stardust Ranch to meet the couple who have been terrorized by these greys, we can't help but feel extremely uneasy. <laughs> We talk first to John's wife, the main target of the attacks, who wishes to remain anonymous. Are you living in fear by being here? Yes. You want to scream, but you can't. Like frozen, feeling like you're going to die. Your heart pounds. You just pray that it's going to stop. Do you ever use the name Jesus Christ to rebuke them? Yeah, I have at times. And has it worked? This is an important question. Sometimes it does. I just can't grasp that an alien would be affected by the name Jesus Christ or by any prayer. The demon, yes. Demons like to mimic. So I'm just trying to see if there's maybe a mixture of things going on here of alien and demonic entities. There's so many different examples of weird stuff. We don't know what to call it. I don't think we can pinpoint that, oh, there's only greys here or there's only demons here. I think there's a lot of different things. The day we went to move in, the people that we bought the home from hadn't moved out. They had just disappeared, Why? and all their stuff was still in the house. Where did they go? We don't know. Does anybody know where they're at? Do you know anybody that knows where they're at? No. They just disappeared. So that was the very first day. My wife and I had an arrangement because of all the things that were going on here that she would rather have been killed than abducted. Has anything ever happened to her sexually? And yes. I, I'm sorry to ask that, but I have to. Yeah, she was molested more or less. <laughs> there have been multiple times of waking up and having my inner thighs be so raw that they were bleeding. They levitated her out of the bed. No way. And I happened to walk in there. She was floating above the surface of the bed. I grabbed a sword, and I killed all three of them. Um, I, you, you killed all three, all three of, of the greys. Edmonds says he has killed 18 greys with a samurai sword. Where are the bodies? If you don't take the head, they disappear. In 2009, Edmonds collected a tissue sample and sent it to biophysicist Dr. William Levengood. He said, John, you have a smoking gun of proof of alien life here on Earth. It was like a combination of an animal and a plant. He said it has all the protein structures of an animal, but the inside the cells is actually chlorophyll. They tried to identify it with any known cell structures, and they couldn't. And they couldn't. Holy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to hold the samurai sword that John killed some little gray aliens with. Dr. Levengood, who examined this, he's now dead? Yeah, sort of mysteriously. Supposedly, I found him dead. He fell and hit his head in the lab. Uh, how? And all the samples disappeared. 
Why don't you hold that? You did an interview, and there was something weird behind you. What was that? Carrie Cassidy from Project Camelot, who did the interview, she said, John, there were two grays that were peering over your right shoulder. It's the first recorded interview in history that aliens actually appeared during the interview. During one attack, the Greys came perilously close to abducting John's wife. She was levitated from your bedroom through here, through here and outside. All the way outside, out the back door, and up into a ship. Do you have up into the ship? There was a cone of light that came down and she started to rise in that cone of light. I grabbed an AK-47 with a double banana clip in it, and I went outside and I opened up. As the stories of violence pile up, we begin to see why John is so heavily armed. We had three horses that were classic cases of mutilation. We found the horse in a pen, and it had almost torn down the actual sides of the pen to try to get out. The eyes were removed, the tongue was removed. Oh my God. It was gruesome. Soon after buying the ranch, John had a run-in with a wild-eyed man. He just came right up the driveway, and he's got a machete. So I asked him what he was up to. He goes, I'm the guy that kills all the monsters. I'm the guy that makes sure the monsters don't hurt anybody. The monsters, I bet, are the greys. Well, there's those monsters and then the Brillo men. You can't see any like distinguishing features. You just see these creatures. They would just walk around the property. Dave calls in with a report. The Palo Verde nuclear plant, the largest in the US, is within 40 miles of the ranch. Some research suggests a link between nuclear facilities and extraterrestrial activity. It has happened around nuclear power plants, nuclear vessels out in the ocean, and military installations. These beings, why are they drawn to nuclear power? You know, some believe that they're seen over these areas because they're leaching off some of the power in order to help themselves. As a matter of fact, there's a famous story where UFOs flew over a nuclear installation and shut down all of the missile silos, took control. When Elizabeth August spent the night in the living room hoping to debunk the reports, she ended up terrorized. It was like a 3D shadow thing. It went past me and I opened my eyes and there was like other ones and I'm looking around and I'm like, okay. It felt like every hair on my body was standing up and like I was in between two magnets. That's all I can say. Were they greys? I don't, I can't, I can't say what they were. But I, you can say that you saw figures moving yeah. around you. Reluctantly, yes, I can. Well, we're sitting where the portal is. You're in their space, if you will. This is where they come through. In 2011, Dr. Brandy Howe attempted to rid the house of its intruders. When I got in the ranch, I felt a very heavy, dark energy. I remember three beings coming in with, they actually looked like Klingons. So you're telling me a portal opened up here? Yes, here. And you saw three little... Well, they weren't little. No, they were so big. Three, three aliens, big yes. aliens. Mm -hmm. There was multiple people that witnessed this? Yes. Aliens aren't the only thing afflicting this house. I went into the back and encountered a young man, a spirit, who told me that he had committed suicide here. Not the family that we bought the property from, the owners before them. The oldest son put a shotgun in his mouth and blew his head off. So there's mothership gray aliens forming here, and on top of that, there's ghosts. Absolutely. <laughs> You are trying to rebuke these greys? Yes. What are you doing to try to get rid of them? I use crystals. I do use incense. So crystals and, and incense are going to work a, against these? No, beings. that's not what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I bless it and clear it. Have you gotten backlash for this? Have you no. been attacked? No. The only thing that happened with me was the lightning strike, but that was a positive thing. Being struck by lightning yes, is positive. It was positive. Hold on. Why are you doing that? Because I'm doing the same thing. I sense something weird. So and do I. I. Keep hearing like a man going. Bro. Yeah. So do I. And I could feel like something in the room, and it just started getting really weird, bro. No, that was that was really strange. 
Dr. Hal was struck by lightning as multiple spacecraft hovered above the ranch. I lifted my sword, three lightning bolts came down, went in through my feet, out through the top of my head. OK, we'll meet you inside then. OK. Thank you very much. We'll meet you right inside. Oh my god. Is this for real? Is all this for real right now? Seriously. We are hoping to entice an entity through the portal in the ranch house living room. I'm going to try a few different frequencies to get it going, too. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Feel your energy. Does this sound wake you up? Yeah, yeah I'm just want to see if there's you here? Wrong behind him. Is it this? The portal's open, go home. Oh, it fell over. You dizzy? sitting on the couch I look over to my right and see what appears to be a bright white light anomaly hovering just behind the couch in mid-air. What's absolutely amazing is that at the same exact moment the X camera does indeed capture what I'm seeing with my own eyes. As we have used the infrasound on previous investigations we know that using these low frequencies can stimulate activity. We leave here knowing that something intelligent is here, and it also caused our drone to malfunction.